nothing sounds like an 8D. They have what I would say is a complete sound. It's big, it's bold, it's triumphant, but it can also make you feel like you're just at home. The best way to describe it is it sounds like home. Warm, round, big, beautiful. The power of that instrument, it's able to cruise on top of an entire orchestra. Sounds good up close, sounds good in the hall. I think that's one of the big reasons that this has stood the test of time in the studio. The 8D first made its way to the studios sometime in the 1950s, 1960s. Ben Stroza was the one who convinced everyone this is what we want to record with and he knew how to play the horn. So I think that expectation then was, this is what you're gonna sound like when you play a con. <laughs> it just recorded really well, and it made it possible to make horns sound great in the studios. When you listen to a movie like Close Encounters or E.T. or Jaws, that's an 8D. When they were playing them and listening back, it had the most complete sound on the microphone. Because it's so big, it can kind of blend and take out the rough edges of other instruments. I feel like I can blend with anybody with it. I feel like I've been chasing an instrument for loud, fun playing or soft orchestral playing. I can get all the colors I need on this horn. It really is very flexible and it, it both allows you to have that big dark sound when you need it, but you can also play very delicately and have that flexibility to the sound, which is really nice. It has a lot of color range that you can explore depending on the style of music you're playing. If you're really interested in chasing that sound that you hear in the movies, the 8D and the 6D are where you're going. So I have always had a Con 8D in my arsenal.